Hello guys, welcome back to The Accumulation Zone, the YouTube channel where you are going to learn everything about trading. In today's video, I am going to be coding and testing Trade IQ's best indicator strategy for scalping period, number one on the channel. This strategy in particular has been requested by one of my Patreon subscribers and now I'm going to code it. In this strategy, he is using the House Suite indicator by Insilico the QQE mod and a volume oscillator. All right guys, so now we're here in trading view. I prepared a few trade examples. We are going to be using, like I said, the house unit indicator. We are going to up the length to 60 and the multiplier to three. For the other indicators, they stay the same. So a valid long entry would be if the price is closing first of all, Above a green colored house, house unit indicator, we have a new blue signal from our QQE mod indicator, and the volume indicator, the volume oscillator, is above the zero line right here. All the criteria is met, and we enter into a long position right here and place our stop loss at the most recent swing low. If it's this swing low or this one, that's up to you. If you want to have a more tighter stop loss, Go for this one and we are looking for a 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio let's look for the next one the next signal i've seen is right here we have a new bearish signal of the qqe mod the volume oscillator is above zero and we closed below a red colored house suit indicator so again we use our most recent swing high in this case look for a 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio which was another winner. One more entry example now. So here again, we have a new red colored QQE mod signal. We have the volume oscillator above the zero level and we close below a red colored house unit indicator. Again, we place our stop loss at the most recent swing high and target one to 1.5 risk to reward, which would have been a losing trade. All right, guys, I hope you got a idea of how to trade with this strategy. If not, feel free to watch TraderQ's video about the strategy. He is giving a lot more examples and I'm going to be focusing more on the testing part. So yeah, I see you guys as soon as I finished coding. All right, guys, I finished coding the strategy. And if you want access to this indicator and this strategy and all my other strategies I already coded on YouTube, you can get access by supporting me here on Patreon. And yeah, you get access to the whole uh, Google Drive where all my source codes and indicators are stored. All right, I coded two versions. I coded the swing high and low stop loss version and a ATR stop loss version. I'm going to make both available to you, to my Patreon subscribers, but let's see what the results are like. All right, we've got the first one. That's the swing high, swing low version. So we see the settings are all according to TraderQ's video. We've got a risk reward setting of 1 to 1.5. We're not using any filters. We up the length of the LMA or the house read indicator to 60 and the multiplier to 3. Everything else is at the basic settings. All right, and we see, okay. This trade was indeed a winning trade. The strategy took that perfectly. Let's look for the next one. And that happened right here, 8.55. Another winning trade. Yeah, took the position perfectly. And we and we lost this trade right here. Here took another trade. So we see, according to the results, it's not the most profitable strategy. In his video, he is claiming a 69% win rate. That's very, very high. So since I, I tested it on the same pair, pound Japanese yen on a five minute time frame, and I just couldn't get to his results. So I started to code a ATR version of the strategy to improve it a little bit. And let's look at this result. So let's get rid of the house suit indicator here. So in this example, I've coded the same strategy, but I am placing a stop loss 
based on an ATR value with the ATR multiplier of 1.5 and I added a few modifications to it. I added a 200 EMA filter and I changed the length of the Hallam A and um, the volume oscillator settings. This one from 5 up to 7 and I left the long length and now we can see if we pull up the strategy tester we have a strategy that's profitable 55% of all trades over a total of 105 trades with a net profit of 141% and a drawdown of 11%. We have a profit factor of 1.865 and our average trade is making us 1.35% in profits. We can have a look into the performance summary and we can see that our average winning trade is 5.28% and our average losing trade is 3.49%. The average time per trade is 44 candles, so 44 5 minute candles, which is quite long for a 5 minute entry. But with those adjusted settings, you can expect a higher win rate. We see here we have a winner, winner, winner. And that's the loser here we drew up earlier winner and here didn't take a trade mm. Win and that's still open running all right guys to sum up this video we see we turned a less pro profitable strategy into a strategy by changing the stop loss settings and a few settings here in these uh, in the indicator settings without manually back testing it over a couple days so right now with one click we can change it to a 21 halame and we see we find ourselves with a more profitable strategy so you can adjust all those settings of the qke mod to volume oscillator like for example here i can change it to six and we get the exact results in seconds we don't have to manually backtest every trade so if you want access to the script and test it on your favorite currency pair you can simply support me here on Patreon and you get access to all the strategies I've coded so far, get access to the full source code, everything else. Also, if you want me to code your strategy so you don't have to spend all day in front of the charts anymore, you can just simply get alerted via SMS, email or notified on the TradingView app to tell you when to go long and when to go short. Feel free to contact me on Fiverr and I will code your strategy into a script that you can backtest, modify and run on each and every pair. For the end of the video, a little sneak preview of the algo I'm working on. It's called Finergo and it's telling you when to buy and when to sell, when to take profit, when a stop loss has been hit. And you see, it's doing very well. It caught the COVID dip on US100 NASDAQ on a daily chart and it's just re-entering a massive trend during pullbacks it's working also as well on lower time frames stay up to date with the progress i'm making on finago by simply joining our telegram group i've been keeping all you guys posted up here with the back testing results and a few examples and right now we are in the testing phase for a, a accumulation zone crypto alert channel where you get buy and sell signals for crypto as well as forex but right now like I said we're in the testing phase so make sure to join our free trading setups group and you also